going on everybody this is Jacob viral today I have a short video discussion on only using multi single channel or double channel not all your channels on your amplifier so what I mean by that I have a cheap little budget precision power four channel amplifier here and I've gotten a couple people that are always curious of I made a previous video with the monoblot but I didn't focus on the four channel amplifier so if you have a two or four channel you don't have to use every channel in order to get output so what do I mean by that? If I only had enough speakers or tweeters or et cetera to run on my two channels but not four, that's perfectly fine. It's just going to use certain components of the amplifier, not all of it. So you might notice certain parts of your amplifier get hotter than others because that's where your current draw is coming from. And that's what I noticed with this. So just in summary before I start doing some detailed explanation on this and doing some tests. So just so you guys know that I could put my, right now I just have some, it's not pretty for anybody new watching, but I just have some six and a halfs up front and some six and a halfs up at my dash area. Um, and that's all I have run. So this is wired down to two ohm and this is wired down to two ohm. So I'm only using two of my channels on my two ohm minimum wired down of my amplifier. So that means I'm getting the max power I can out of two of these channels. But my other two channels doesn't have anything in it. So do I really need to use those? Um, to get the most out of my amplifier, 100% yes, but it's not required. You're able to run an amplifier with just two channels. Another thing that you guys can consider, some of the, I've gotten a lot of people message me say, hey, Jacob, man, one of my amplifier inputs are not working, or hey, I think I blew my amp. So to trial and error for any of these guys that have this issue, if you think one of your inputs are bad, go ahead and swap channels. Try another channel and see. Uh, also, make sure you use a multimeter to check your impedance to ensure everything's wired down. Most four-channel amplifiers, class AB amplifiers like these, don't wire or down lower than 2 ohm single ch per channel, 2 ohm two ch per channel, or 4 ohm bridged. So like if I wanted to bridge these or whatever, depending on your amp. But in summary, that's the video. Uh, let me know what you, got, you guys think. I hope I help somebody here. You don't need to or require to use all your channels on your amplifier. So whether you got a two or a four or a five channel amplifier, you don't need to use all the inputs in order for your amplifier to operate. Of course, it's highly recommended to use all of it, get the most out of your amp. But I personally recommend, you know, hey, if you only got some of your channels used, you shouldn't have an issue. I haven't had any issues. I've been running this amp for about three years now. I used to use all four channels when I had tweeters and mids. And now I just got some uh, mid and mid bass and I took my tweeters out and uh, a little bit less output less amp draw on the four channel, but it works great. And uh, that's the video. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I was going to do at the end of this video a detail on walk around showing you that, hey, my, my speakers are playing without the other channels hooked up, show you how the amp is. But I guess I'll give it the last rundown before I end this video real quick. If y'all haven't already hit the like button and subscribe, appreciate y'all watching. I try to do a lot of good topics that people don't know or think about. Um, and I'm not the best at this, always comment if I'm wrong. So I have RCAs here and here. So a four channel amp's got four set, two sets of RCAs. So I have my RCAs in for my front front and my rear. So that's the different set, depending on what, if you have a two or four. If you have a four channel, you're gonna have two sets of RCAs. If you have a two channel, it's just two. And what I did is I just have them both hooked up and I'm just using the front right now. So I probably could disconnect the rear since I'm not using it. But on an uh, RCA scale, when you're going from your stereo to your head unit, that's how you're going to equate for this. So make sure you have the right RCAs hooked up, depending on if you're using your front inputs and outputs and your your um, rear. So that's the video. Hope I helped somebody. This is Jacob All Out. Later.